All right, guys. <clears throat> Let's get back to it. I know it's almost five o'clock. I gotta get back on class here pretty soon. Let me show you guys where I'm at. Oh, look at that! Look at my balance, eight thousand only. You know why? You guys want to know why? Why it's only eight thousand? Because as soon as eleven a.m. hit. You see J4 I drop all the way back. And at noon it, it just got worse. And then uh, I found out that the US was trying to do their sanctions against North Korea at that time. And so Where are you better stop? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So back to what I was saying that at noon. USDJ before I drop back. I should have just scout yesterday and today. Happened. I missed out on scalping because I'm pretty much just back to where I started. I mean, balance is eight thousand. Yes, equity is at equity is at three hundred thirty thousand. So what I'm anticipating tonight is to sell USDJPY, buy gold, buy euro. I'm not messing around with the pound. I got my sell on the pound. My sell position is on the pound. The pound's been pound still at the one two nine, so I'm not buying the pound anytime soon. Um, I'm, I'm not really touching myself on your Australia or New Zealand because I'll be in class, and I'll be in class for the next four four hours. So this is all I'm anticipating. I should have just scalped the moment Sunday. As soon as I now, what I'm looking through now is if there's no economic data that's really significant enough to shift the trends, I'm just gonna scalp. And what what I mean scalping is I'm gonna scalp off the 15 minute, 30 minute, and one hour. And with the one hour, you can really swing it for four four to six hours. And should it should have I done that? Everything would have went my way. Think about if you were swinging USDJPY on a buy from Sunday till now. It is definitely not worth buying. Uh, now, if you sold USDJPY on Sunday till now, you would still be you would still be in the blue. And the best time to buy gold was when it hit. 1250 best time to buy gold was when it hit 1252 it spiked all the way down to 1251 but the best time to buy gold was when it dropped this morning that was the best time to buy gold i anticipate gold to rise up tonight uh there are some important news at 7 30 in the morning tomorrow for the u.s and like i said wednesday is the uh big day where volatility starts and I wouldn't be surprised if, if I wipe this whole account out. I, I, I'm being really, really aggressive with this account right now. And so, I, I'm still striving to hit, you know, you know, 10 million at the end of the month. That's my end goal in order to hit first place. And so, but like I said, you want to stack positions as much as you can. Uh, there's nothing really to go off on, on the 12 hour pattern. There's there's really nothing much to go off the 12, 12 hour pattern from yesterday and today due to the fact that USDJPY never went back up to 111. USDJPY stuck, that, stuck itself at 110.8. I should have caught that from yesterday. And even today, it, even today, right before um, the London sessions overlap with evening work sessions at 11 a.m. As soon as 11 a.m. hit, it dropped immediately. And so, and that was when North Korea was talking stuff about what U.S. was trying to anticipate on sanctions. And North Korea didn't like that. So North Korea said that, you know, we will fire missiles at you guys if you guys are trying to do this and that. So it dictates a lot on USDJPY because it's a very sensitive currency pair. Like I said, U.S. and Japan are allies. So obviously, it dictates so much that it's a sensitive currency pair that it ends up falling back a lot. And I like trading USDJPY, it's just that it fluctuates a lot in pips. You know, 
when it drops it drops and when it rises it rises and so you love it or hate it you know that's what it comes down to just like gold gold can immediately spike down just like this morning and look at it retraced from where 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 it dropped so yeah gold can spike down to 1251 but now it's back at 1260 so that's nine dollars that you could have cut catch nine dollars that's a lot you know imagine you did a hard dollar bet and so and I do got a hard dollar bet right now, but I bought it a little bit too high. So I anticipate gold to rise up. I wouldn't be surprised if gold hits. Let's see here. I wouldn't be surprised. I'm on the one hour chart. I wouldn't be surprised if gold comes back to like 12.65, 12.67 by in the morning. I wouldn't be surprised if gold even hits 12.70. If it retraces all the way back to 12.70 from where it dropped from Friday, I wouldn't be surprised. And I wouldn't be surprised if USDJY drops dramatically tonight, uh, back to 109.8, 109.7, or even, um, or or back to I'm trying to think how far. What was so 109.7 was the most that it dropped from last week. So I wouldn't be surprised if it drops back to 109.7. Or if it breaks, if it breaks that price line, which people call support, if it breaks that, then obviously it's just, obviously it's a sell off, and so <clears throat> that would be the price gap to take a look at. I'm definitely selling USDJPY tonight, buying gold, buying euro. Those are those are my three positions that I have right now, and I already maxed out my positions already. I don't want to I don't want to max anything out until tomorrow morning. Uh, what I want to anticipate and so that's all that's all I'm predicting for tonight uh, just like last night USDJ4 I dropped regained strength during a couple of, I think two hours after London session they regained strength so and so I'm just trying to <clears throat> like I'm just saying that I should have scalped uh, knowing that USDJ4 I couldn't hit one even above 110.8 couldn't even hit 111 these past today and yesterday so it's a lesson learned and I always I was talking about price price value price gaps didn't hit it didn't go above back to 111 was what was it so right then and there I mean I should have known and so um, it would be a huge sell-off if North Korea does fire missiles this week or if Trump says that we might end up going to war with the youth with North Korea that would impose a sell huge sell-off for the US for USDJPY so I would keep my eye on that I've been keeping all my eyes on the news not on investing.com not on my effects book not Forex Factory, not FX Street, no, I'm talking about CNN, Fox News, World News. And I'm trying to figure out if that's going to happen or not. Guys, come on. And so, <clears throat> and so I'm keeping my eyes on what's going to happen for North Korea and US right now because. Like I said, USDJPY is a very sensitive currency pair. And USDJPY, like I said, US and Japan are allies. So whatever happens with North Korea or if China steps in, obviously it's going to make us huge sell off. And it's going to spike down pretty hard. I've seen it happen before. I've seen it happen plenty of times. And I wouldn't be surprised if, if, this, if this pair drops a lot this week because of what's going on with North Korea. So. I have to be ready for that because if you are trading live on USDJPY, I, I would keep an eye on that because that's something to pay attention to. And so I'm paying attention to Fox News, CNN, um, any news that that's going to talk about what's going on with Korea because that impose, imposes, you know, the the spike in the value of USDJPY. And guess what? If USDJPY drops, gold goes up. Eventually, gold is going to go up, and so, so it's kind of hard to work something out here, 
and this is a new update. Key events. Oh yeah, well, obviously there's a Reserve Bank of Australia speech for tonight. And there's some news for Australia, but I won't, I won't be able to pay attention to it because I got classes. So, wish you guys the best and, you know, pay attention to the news if you are trading USDJPY. And, like I said, I'm going to sell... I'm gonna sell USDJPY, I'm gonna buy gold, I'm gonna buy euro. And I'm still selling the pound because I got my positions from 1, 132, so I'm gonna keep that sell from last week. And I'm not touching Australia or New Zealand because I won't be able to pay attention to them until when I get out. So uh, USD can and USD cheap, I'm not really focusing on that right now. It's all USDJPY, gold, and euro right now. That's it. So keep stacking your trade as much as you can if you have enough to cover your margins. Don't want to go negative like what I did today and yesterday.